much. My real claim to fame is having messed up the entire first half of my life. I was an anti-Christian atheist. I didn't know much, but I did know one thing for sure, and that was that I was not going to be a Christian, much less a Catholic Christian. They were following a fairy tale, and they were highly embarrassing. And so that was just never going to happen in my life. And I didn't know there was a God. When we don't know there's a God, we have to fill that God-shaped hole in all of us with something else. And for me, that was ballet. I loved ballet. I practiced it diligently for years, and I became a dancer with the San Francisco Ballet Company. I got injured. And I had three foot surgeries. And that not only took away my career, it took away the only God I ever knew. And I grew depressed, and I lost hope. And in my sadness, I turned to intimate relationships for comfort. And I fell deeper and deeper and deeper into very serious sin. And I was always looking outside myself for someone or something to bring me comfort, to bring me peace. But there was no peace for me because sin takes away our peace. I never thought once, not once did it cross my mind to change my behavior. And one summer I ended up very, very, very sick. It turns out I had cervical cancer. And I had very little time left to live. I remember wanting nothing to do with Jesus or Mary. I remember seeing an image of them, an image of the Madonna and child, and I wanted it taken down. I remember reading a self-help book that I enjoyed, except for one word in that book that I said should be taken out. And the name was Jesus. And one day I was lying down, I was with a friend, Joseph. He was Catholic. He never told me he was Catholic. He was praying for me. I didn't know what that was. And as he was praying, I felt this beautiful presence around me and within me. And I heard a loud pop inside of my body. And I said to Joseph, what was that? What was that expansive peace? What just happened to me? And he said, Christine, I was in prayer just now. Mother Mary looked down on you from heaven. She took pity on you and asked her son to save you. It turns out the cancer was gone. I was given my life and my soul back in one second. I hated the names and the images of Jesus and Mary. But it turns out they always just loved me. They don't know how to do anything but love. A few days after I was healed and saved, I heard this beautiful symphony I was in his room, and I was like, well, let me see. Maybe there's a band outside. No. Let me see. Maybe there's a something down the hallway in his house. No. Maybe there's a clock radio that fell under the bed. No. And then I sat down and I realized, oh my, this beautiful music is coming from inside of me because just one sinner was saved. And heaven was letting me in on their celebration of my salvation. And I now know where mortal sin leads. And I never want to go there again. And my life isn't my life, it's God's life. And it was God's life all along. And when Jesus asked me 
to join the church, a church I'd never before stepped foot in. I said, yes, how do I sign up? And now being a Catholic Christian means everything to me. It means the difference between life and death.